Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today in this video I will show you how to use OneNote. But before starting, I should tell you that OneNote, there's two, two types of OneNote. There's OneNote that comes with Windows 8 and 10 and it's built in. You don't need to buy it, it's free. And uh, it has uh, a less, less features than the other OneNote. So the other OneNote comes with MS Office. It's bundled up with MS Office. You have to purchase it either separately or with MS Office. And it's called OneNote 2006. And the one that comes with Windows is just OneNote. Uh, yep. So make sure you have downloaded the correct version and the correct one. Because uh, I'm showing you how to use OneNote that comes with Windows and not the one not 2016 that comes with MS Office. So first I will tell you how to download it. Open your uh, Windows App Store. Yep. Type in the search bar one note. And uh, so normally it's built in, it's 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 pre-installed with your Windows. But if you have removed it, uh, you can reinstall it again. Uh, so when you want to install it, there's an option in the install button. But because I've installed it already, so it's not in there. Yep. Now let's get started. How to use one note? Open your one note. Right clicking. And uh, so first of all, when you when you open the one note, you can add the page or you can add sections. For example, I have two sections here, and I and I want and I want to add another section. Now, you can have when you add a section, name it. For example, I will name it as exam, and my new section is ready to use. But I want to add unlimited or many pages in my section so the benefit of section is that in one section you can add as many pages as you want let's suppose I have an exam section and I want to put everything related to exam in this section so what I do is first I will rename this first page in my exam section exam one and I will write some so it's auto save it will save your uh, text or anything you write or make in the one note it will save automatically but I want to add another page and again I will give a title write my note Here's the second page, and here yeah, it's the same. It's like this. You and I want to add another page. Again, give it a title. Make your notes. Yeah, so you see everything that's related to a certain section. I will put everything in in that particular section, and I will just add pages. I don't need to make. Uh, separate section for every page so the, the interesting part is that you can add as many pages as you want so now let's suppose I have I want to make my notes so what's the features when you when you click anywhere inside the page 
you can write your notes. You can write your notes for the blah blah to address this. And by clicking on this, it will open up the whole features of OneNote where you can do lots of things. Let's start with drawing. So what's in there? When you open the draw, let me let me tell you again. Uh, when you open, when you click on the draw, it will show you these options, these features, pen one. So basically these are these four are the colors of the pencils that you can use to draw anything you want and you can select which color of pencil you want to use black blue green red uh, for example i want to use the red one and i want to write something I'm not good at drawing, so yeah. You see, and just like the same, if you want to use a uh, different color pencil, you can select from here. Now, for example, I have written something important uh, inside my notes and I want to highlight that particular paragraph that particular word or sentence go to highlighter and you can select the color of your highlighter I like blue so I will click on blue and you can change the thickness thinness of your highlighter if you want thick you can go with this if you want thin highlighter you can go with this or medium let's try the thick one select the color go with this one and so now I have my highlighter and I want to highlight this word just click and use your mouse to highlight it. And here's your highlighter. See, it highlights these words. Now, J. Okay. If you want to remove anything you have drawn or highlighted, you can use the eraser. You can use a stroke eraser or just simple eraser. I will go with simple eraser. You can increase the size of the uh, screen if you want to, or just press your mouse button. It will remember. It will not remove the text that you typed. It will just remove something you have drawn inside the inside your note. Okay, so this was the drawing features. When you are done with the drawing or you want to use another feature, just click on exit draw. Again, click anywhere inside your page. Go click on this. And now if you want to insert a picture inside your nose or many pictures inside your pages just click on picture or click on this arrow it will ask you where's the location of the picture you want to use what's the location the picture or the camera let's suppose we use the picture now I have a picture here 
click on the picture, click open, and click on insert all. See the picture, chain, inside my node which is cool, very interesting, very cool it is, it's amazing. So you can undo it, you can like, rotate your picture, you can delete your picture, you can copy it, you can take it. Let's suppose I want to delete my picture, click delete, it's gone. So it was now. Let's suppose I want to insert something a, a file, it could be a text file, and PDF file, or some kind of another file. Click on insert or click on this arrow. Let me show you again to make it clear. Click on the arrow to make it easier for you. It will ask you. What type of file you want to insert? Printout from PDF or just a file? Let's go with just a file. So I don't have a file here, it says it's an image, but if you have files here, you can click on that and same procedure with the inserting picture. Click open and your file will come here. Now, what's the table? To see what's the table, what it works, click on table. So here's the table. It's very cool. So you don't need to use. One note 2016. You have everything you need, basic things. So it's the table you can use for uh, yeah. you can undo it. Okay. Or you can do that road. Okay now I suppose I want to use a list. Let's suppose I have something to write. I have something to write. I have something to write. Something to write. Something to write. Let's say you have a list, a long list, or just a list of sentences, paragraphs. Uh, you can click on list or click on this arrow. And select which type of list do you want to insert in. These are the number list and these are the bullet lists. That's for that I want to put this one. Okay. Now, when you insert the list, the type of list you want to use, just write your sentence and press enter. The bullets will show itself. Okay, now. Uh, Let's see what's take take as contact. Click on this arrow. Okay, so if in your in your uh, when you make your notes, if there's something important, click on this important. There's a star will come. Before your paragraph, before your sentence, or before the word, 
which marks it as an important or if the if there if there's a question or you want to put the question tag as question and or critical or if there's a contact number let's suppose we use a number use the contact tag click on the contact tag let's suppose there's an address 56 63 and I want and now I want to use the address tag to make sure that I that I can see in my note if I if I wrote a big note a big note and I want to find where was the address so I can put the tag button address tag button so I can next time when I want to find this address I can find it easily click on address you can use the phone number the same so it's just a symbols of the tags that tells you what it is. Either is it a phone number, an address, or contact? Is it important? Is it critical? Is it a question? Or is it something to do list? If you have something to do list, write write the list of your to do list. And when when you've completed the, your to do list, just click on this. And it tells you that it's completed. You can remove the tags. Remove the tag. Okay. And now, if you want to go back again to the to those to those options, click on this arrow. Yep. Uh, yeah. Pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and share. If you have any question or confusion or want to ask anything, please leave your comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.